The Maltese is a popular toy dog breed that welcomes everyone. The breed is curious, playful, quick-moving, and does not require much outdoor exercise, but he likes to run around a fenced yard and go for walks with you. The Maltese is known for its flowing, majestic white coat and is generally a happy, healthy dog with many talents. In addition to being excellent pets, they also make great watchdogs. Plus, Maltese dogs are used as therapy dogs and compete in various dog sports like agility and obedience. They enjoy nothing more than spending time with their human family. Even if you're a first-time pet owner or live in an apartment, you'll be able to appreciate what a wonderful pet the Maltese is. However, there are five things I want to bring to your attention that you must not do in order to foster a healthy and happy relationship with your Maltese dog. But, before we get into the furry details, hello and welcome to Animal Digest. If you haven't already, please subscribe to get your weekly dose of pet content. Now, let's begin. Here are five things you must not do to your Maltese. Number one. You must not pamper or spoil your Maltese. The act of pampering or spoiling a dog is giving him everything he wants, ignoring his undesirable behaviors, and making excuses for those behaviors. Dogs truly crave rules and routines. Without boundaries, a dog might become demanding, hostile, or possessive of its possessions, including his owner. And very often, the very irresistible and cute face Maltese dog becomes a product of a spoiled dog, therefore, they usually get what they want. In fact, the breed is notorious for receiving exactly what he wants, even from owners who had no intention of spoiling them. So despite their irresistible face, avoid pampering your Maltese. Be the pack leader by letting him walk on his own feet and do as he is told. Therefore, it's important to start obedience training as soon as he is home, so he gets used to the rules he is expected to follow. This should not be challenging, as Maltese dogs are very responsive to training and often excel in competitive obedience. Number 2. You must not feed your Maltese low-quality dog food. Low-quality is dog food that contains artificial flavors, artificial preservatives, and artificial colors. Artificial additives like these are often found to be allergens in dogs with food allergies, so they should be avoided as much as possible. In addition, avoid foods that have unidentified meat byproducts. For example, chicken byproducts are okay, but not poultry byproducts. Plus, you should also avoid foods with corn or wheat fillers, because they are all linked to a series of issues such as allergies, insomnia, or other serious health problems. If you have a Maltese or a similar sized toy dog breed, it is best to feed them pet food that is mostly made from natural ingredients. You will find that feeding your pet high-quality food will make a big difference in his overall health and well-being. Plus, in the long run, you will potentially save on vet bills and more. Number 3. You must not neglect your Maltese grooming needs. Regular baths and coat conditioning are a must if you want to keep your Maltese coat looking shiny and healthy. Plus, if you keep their coat long, it must be brushed and combed gently every day to keep it from getting mats and tangles. Their nails grow quickly and should be trimmed often. Check and clean their ears once a week and remove any built-up wax. Keep the eye area clean, and if your Maltese has excessive tear stains, you should take him to the vet. Your Maltese's upkeep may be high maintenance, but on the other hand, grooming can be used as a time to bond with your pet. Number 4. You must not neglect their dental care. Maltese dogs often develop dental issues as they age, so it's especially important to brush their teeth often, preferably every time their coat is combed. They should also get their teeth professionally examined and cleaned at least once a year by your veterinarian. And to promote healthy teeth and gums, you can give your Maltese safe chew toys. Chew toys also prevent your dog from chewing on items they shouldn't, like your favorite shoes and houseplant. Number 5 you must not miss their regular checkups at the vet. Wellness examinations at the vet can serve as a preventative treatment, as they usually include checking for a variety of common health problems in dogs. Diabetes, renal illness, liver issues, and thyroid disorders can all be identified. Heart conditions, vision, and hearing impairments are also checked for. 
In addition, remember that your vet must check for multi-specific health conditions. Tracheal problems, luxating patella, and extrahepatic shunts are some of the conditions. You'll have the best chance of a favorable prognosis and effective treatment if you identify these issues early. In some instances, this will directly affect a dog's lifespan. Therefore, forgetting to routinely take your Maltese to the veterinarian might have severe consequences. Additionally, as per the American Kennel Club, the national recommended health tests for Maltese are a cardiac exam and a patella evaluation. Bottom line, Maltese dogs are not naturally aggressive or dominant, so they usually get along well with everyone. They are cute, playful, and loyal lap dogs, and once you establish a routine and style for their grooming needs, they are usually low-maintenance pets. One major thing to keep in mind is that Maltese, like many toy breeds, are more likely to get hurt than sick. So, whether or not, a Maltese has a long healthy life, depends a lot on how well you take care of him. Tell us about your Maltese in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.